During David's rule, the city of Jerusalem was occupied only on the eastern hill. During Solomon's rule, the city grew larger and the temple was built on the Temple Mount. But during Hezekiah's rule, the city of Jerusalem underwent major changes. And when Hezekiah saw that Sennacherib was come and was determined to wage war against Jerusalem, he strengthened himself and built up all the wall that was broken and raised it up to the towers and another wall without. In 721 BCE, the mighty Assyrian kingdom defeated the kingdom of Israel. Thousands of refugees fled to Jerusalem and settled on the western hill. Hezekiah, the king of Judah, also rebelled against the Assyrians. And in order to protect the western hill and its new inhabitants, he built a massive wall seven meters wide. The wall on which I am walking right now is the wide wall built by Hezekiah. It was later to be discovered by Professor Nachman Avigad from the Hebrew University. This would settle a long debate regarding the size of Jerusalem, which was apparently much larger than the narrow dimensions of the city of David. Hezekiah, the king of Judah, must have heard the thunder of the approaching war horses of the Assyrian army as they came to conquer Jerusalem. He was anxious to build the wall in the fastest way possible. Alas, the refugees from the kingdom of Israel had built their houses in the very places most suitable for the wall, and he had no choice but to destroy their homes. This is one of the houses destroyed by Hezekiah, the king of Judah, while building the wide wall. Isaiah the prophet regarded this deed in a negative light. He says, and you have numbered the houses of Jerusalem, and you have broken them down to fortify the wall. 